Hey everyone, it's Raphael here, and I'm going to show you how to make a Python script that does an automatic Google search. So for this video, I'm going to be simply using idle to make this, but if you want to use any other IDE or program like let's say PyCharm, or there's another one called Visual Studio Code, you can also use that as well, whichever one you prefer, as long as you can get the Python script working, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new file right now. So click File, New File. That should bring up this new window right here. So it's going to be distinct from the idle shell. And I have my folder open up right now just to show you that I have to save my file in a folder before I can actually run the Python program. That's how it is in idle. So first line of code we're going to do, we have to first implement the web browser module. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now saying import web browser this will be responsible later for opening up our web browser like it's uh, it will automatically open up and then what we're going to do is now take in user input so type in print and this one will say what should i search today and then i'm going to do a pound symbol this is what you will type in google now Really, this is just a comment that tells you what the code does, so it doesn't really matter what goes after the um, pound symbol or hashtag, you can actually remove that right now if you don't want the comment. The next thing we need to do is take in user input, so let's do my search equals input, and then next thing we're going to do is actually load up our web browser, so now type in print and say opening now. And then do web browser dot open. So now here we go. We're going to actually put the web browser module to use. And before we um, do anything with this line, though, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my uh, text edit editor right now. And this is what we'll be using. Okay, this will take care of the um, search results. So let me go ahead and demonstrate later. I'll copy and paste this first into the web browser dot open line right here. So I'll, I will do a step-by-step um, -step demonstration once I'm done typing the script out. So once you've got that down, you're going to do another closing speech mark right here. Just type that in. Do, oops, do plus and then do my search. And they're going to end that with a closing parenthesis. So this right over here should match whatever you called this right over here, which will take in the user input. So now that we've got that down, we can actually go ahead and save the file. So do file, save. And right over here, I have my folder, which I said already right here. I'm going to save it. So I called my folder Python tutorial. So let's go ahead and save the file as uh, Google search.py. And then click save or whatever you want to call it, really. Then click save. To run and run module or simply press F5 to run the program. So now I should say, what should I search today? I'm going to simply type in, let's see, you can type in a whole bunch of things. I'll do Stranger Things, Season 4, Release Date. I know it was released a few days ago, but I'm going to use this as an example. And now you can see that it automatically loads up the search um, result. So in my case, I simply put opening now and I, also, I searched up the release date for Stranger Things. So let's go ahead and do this step by step. Um, I'm going to explain the code right now. So first thing we're going to do is first import the web browser module so that we can call it later in the program. And then it's going to take in user input, which we have the um, results saved in my search. And then we called whatever result we um, typed in, which is this over here. That is whatever was saved in my search. We um, Basically what we did was if I bring up my text editor again, what we did was this. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that. And the result would have been like this. So my search. Now, this can also work. Let me go ahead and make this bigger. So we basically opened up the URL, which would contain this plus whatever we typed in for my search. So if I go ahead and kind of demonstrate right now with Firefox. So what I can do now is do let earlier season four release date. And you can see it had the similar result because all we simply did here was kind of concatenate that into one single URL. And that was called with web browser open. 
So that's simply how you call it with the Python scripts. I can also do the same thing over here. So I, I I'm already I'm already inside that um folder where I saved my um Python script, and as you can see over here, I called it Google Search.py. So I can do the same thing. Python three. So I wrote this in Python three, obviously. So I can kind of call that script again. I can do the same thing. Let's do something different now, and let's call this. Let's go ahead and search up. Let's see. Um, vitamin D benefits. And I want you to notice that it actually opens up your default browser. So in my case, my default browser is Safari. But if your default browser is like Google Chrome or Firefox, it will open that one instead. So yeah, that's the entire program. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this video helped you out. Uh, I will come back with more tutorials as well to automate simple tasks. But I'll see you in the next video, and I hope this video helped you out. Raphael out.